Listen, um, like I said, I'm so hyped, I'm so excited. I cannot wait to meet the people of Kenya here in Nairobi. I, I want everybody to get and be there on time because um, heaven will kiss them. It's gonna be an explosion of worship and praise and thanksgiving. We're gonna dance like we've lost our mind. It's gonna be fun, 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 fun. I cannot wait. Oh, yeah, I mean, basically, spending time with God. I, I've, I've, I don't. There's nothing. There's no formula to it. If you spend time with God and um, get revelations from God on on what He wants you to do for season, because not every song works in every season. For instance, I just released a song um, three weeks ago called "God Turned It Around," and you know. Um, it became like a prophecy that went forward. We had a couple of people that had, even colleagues that had made you ask them that God saved them. So, so sometimes God sends a song ahead as thanksgiving for what He's about to do. So um, it's different season, um, the Nara, the Onaga, all of them. It comes in at the right season. But the only way you can get those things is when you spend time with God in God's presence by yourself, God gives you sounds and songs of revelation. So to say that most of your inspiration comes from Absolutely. I mean, um, um, sometimes, and when I mean from God, doesn't that God will say, hello, my son? No. <laughs> I mean, it could be from people, you've been relating with somebody, you can hear a word in church, you can be studying the Bible, you can be praying. I mean, lots of times from sleep, God gives me a song and I wake up singing and writes and recording. So different things happen. Sometimes it might be a, when I'm facing a difficult situation, which everybody faces in life, and God gives you a song. I mean, for instance, you've done so much for me, I cannot tell you all, but it came from a place where God has saved and delivered and done so much for me. So, um, but in the end, God is our source. Um, so, but different happenstance um, would, would, would prompt um, God dropping the song that it sounds. We did a song with Nathan and that's the end. did so well, so well, even though in Kenya we really love the song. And maybe how long did it take for you to compose the song? I mean, it was one of those songs that came in one minute. It didn't take any time, there was no planning or anything. And, you know, I feel like the song also is for Kenya. Because um, I feel like God, even this election is a testimony of God turning around what the enemy meant for evil from wherever um, everything that happened. Because if it was for the devil, it would have been chaotic, there would have been problem everywhere, but God turned it around. So it's a song that really speaks for everybody's life. What the enemy, and I'm, and I'm speaking it over the, the, the nation of Kenya that um, for individuals, communities, states, and Kenya generally, whatever the enemy meant for evil, God has already turned it around for your good. The song just happened. It wasn't something that was planned, or I didn't take time to write it. Every, God downloaded it and gave me everything. So it was once that we sang the song that just did. Okay, on that first August, they supposed to share on Instagram. With a long post, you stated that uh, you think there was a time when you came out, you were crazy. Listen, I mean, um, Gosti does miracle. Gosti, I mean, the, the, the testimony was me almost not being able to walk again. It was almost like a paralysis. Stuff. And if you know me, I'm very energetic on stage. I, but how would I have explained the pain of not being able to stand up, not being able to walk again, not being able to get off my bed? Um, it was a terrible thing that the devil planned, but God turned it around. Um, so uh, basically, that was the testimony of that song. Um, have it, and most of us have gotten to points where we know that if it was not God, we wouldn't have been alive. So that's basically what it was. God saved me, God healed me completely. You know, the song for Nara says, when he heals, he heals completely. He doesn't do things halfway. He does it completely. So I'm completely healed and I'm made whole and I'm excited to be here this Saturday to just, to just worship with the people. Uh, uh, Dr. Tim, you mentioned this is a very special season for you coming to Kenya, considering uh, we have a new president. Uh, I don't know, what do you know about the president and uh, what message could you have for him and the first lady who are quite religious people and for the people of Kenya? Like, I really wish they could come on Saturday because, like I said, um, um, 
we, I think this concert was supposed to happen before the election. It was moved because of the election. And, you know, for me, again, the song that says what the enemy meant for evil, God turned it around. I think it was formerly the vice president or something. And then, and you no, know, so, so most times the devil has so much. If you ask Joseph, you can ask Abraham, you can ask um, just all of this David. Devil always has his own plan. But the beautiful thing about God is that God goes ahead to clear things. So I think that's exactly what happened for the nation of Kenya. And this is a new beginning for Kenya. This, I, I, I believe that Kenya is that country that God has put in the map to be at the gates. Um, there is a light shining on Kenya right now that things are beginning to, are going to begin to evolve and change. And it will not just be a place people come for tourists. It will be a city that God has ordained to shut up, shut up lights in the whole of Africa. And God is going to use this particular president. I'm excited about him because he loves God. They love God. And listen, um, the government is on God's shoulder. It's God that will lift anybody or bring anybody down. God that put him there has a reason for this season. Things are about to shift in Kenya and I'm excited to be part of it, especially this season. Uh, lastly, on a light note, uh, other than just uh, uh, you coming to Kenya for ministry, anything else you'd like to maybe explore Kenya, wildlife, tourism, food, culture and all? Like, I literally, I travel a lot. I've traveled to so many countries and one of the things I want to experience is their language. Um, like, is it Tabari, Kenya? Swahili. Yeah. Swahili. So I'm even writing Nara in Swahili right now. I'm recording Nara in Swahili. Um, I want to sort of experience the wildlife, the food, the people. The people is much more important for me. The dance. Um, I'm going to be calling some of you to come on stage and teach me some of your dance. You know, it's going to be fun. I, 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 for, Kenya is special for me. I don't know why, but I, maybe I will, I will understand that in this particular trip. As we conclude, maybe you can uh, look at the camera and invite people to dance. Hey guys, my name is Dr. Tim Godfrey. All like I flew literally from Houston straight to this place, and I want to invite everybody. Invite your friends. Tell your friends to invite their friends. Tell their friends to invite their friends, including even some of your enemies. Invite them. This will be an experience you would never ever forget. Come with people that are sick. Come with people that are expecting. God would meet everybody at the point of their needs. I am here with the multiple award-winning group also extreme. We cannot wait. My brothers are also coming in, Todd Dulani and JJ Hurston. And we're going to be sharing the stage with some of um, Kenya's beautiful artists. We cannot wait. You can't afford to miss this. This is history the making. Let's go! Thank you so much. Woo!